Welcome to the Form Titan 101 video, and in this video, I'll show you how to refine a multi select pick list from Salesforce using checkbox element. So, I'll show you what we're going to do. So, this is my opportunity, and I've got closed reason, and this is a multi select pick list. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to load all my opportunities in a table, and then what I'm then going to do is I'm going to pull all the closed reason in a checkbox and then every time we click on a specific checkbox it will refine the table accordingly that way you'll you'll learn how to refine multi select pick list from salesforce using checkbox element so first thing we'll do we'll get a checkbox and i'm going to make this vertical get rid of first second third choice and add other and we'll call this up per Opportunity, close, reason. Okay, and then I'm going to sync it from Salesforce. So we're going to find our opportunity object. And then we are going to find a close reason. Okay, click apply, save, and I'll show you quickly a preview. Cool, these are all a list. So that's good to go. Next up, we're going to get a table. And we'll slot the table over here. Make it this big, get rid of this. We don't need this column. And then I'm gonna show thousand rows per page. So this one we'll call op name. And then we'll call close reason multi-select. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and map our fields. So again, we're going to pull from opportunity object, and then we are going to bring all, or at least the first thousand that I have, and then I'm going to set a condition. I'm going to say close reason, which is a multi-select pick list. Now here are the four conditions that you can choose from when using this type of functionality. Includes, excludes, includes all, excludes all. So I'm just going to use includes for now. And then what you want to choose is, so I'll, I'll hover over these. First is the opportunity close reason. And then second is the opportunity close reason value. So what you want to do is always choose the value like this. Click apply. Then we'll go ahead and map the fields. So there are only two fields we need to map. So first is the name. And then second is my multi-select pick list like this, apply and finish, save, and now let's see how this works. So as you can see that this is my list, and if I click on this, you can see it's now going to include any opportunity that has lost competitor in it. So there are seven of them. And if I choose, if I say, you know what, show me that has lost prize in it, then there it is. And as I grow this list, you can see it starts to refine as per the criteria suggested here, like this. So very, very cool functionality, and you can really use checkbox to do whatever you want with it. You can pull through a multi-select pick list into a table or even anything else for the matter. And then, as you can see, the results are fluctuating based on my selection here. So very, very cool. And what else can you do? You can do excludes as well. So I'll show you how the excludes functionality works. Let me just move this a little bit to the left. Like this. Click save. And then what we'll do, we'll go into settings, form, and into the get, and then into our table. And this time, we'll do a excludes, so like this. Apply, apply, save and preview. And now it's going to find any opportunity that excludes the list. So I'll click this, find me anything that excludes lost competitor. So we found 38. Find me an opportunity that excludes this or this. And then it's like this. There you go. And the more I add there, obviously, the more rows are appearing now. 
and that's how it's done. So you can use the same principle when it comes to um, using, so let's go back in, in here, you can use the same principle when using using excludes or includes all, something like this. So you can even say includes all, apply, apply, save, preview, you can say includes lost competitor or X, Y, Z, or this, or this, includes all this. And just like that. And you can use the same for excludes all as well. And that's how it's done. That's how you find multi-select pick lists from Salesforce using checkbox.